Google decided that work-life balance was more important than winning. When you're competing like something as revolutionary as ChatGPT and OpenAI, and you're not competing at their scale and urgency, you're not gonna be able to catch up and you're gonna be stuck behind. Google just got hit with a lawsuit um, that basically says that they have a monopoly as it relates to search. At least that's how I understood it. And ChatGPT or OpenAI, the umbrella company, launched SearchGPT. And I basically said how, although they're way behind SearchGPT and Google's been the goat for search for a long time, that I thought SearchGPT could definitely, you know, catch them. And then the news came out that, you know, Google got hit by this lawsuit that they have a monopoly as it relates to search. And uh, now the former Google CEO, Eric Schmidt, talks about this interesting thing. So Google used to be, and still is in, in some sense, like the coolest place for engineers to get a job. You're working on the coolest stuff, the coolest projects, uh, the most technical, most talented people would go there. You'd pretty much be set up for life if you worked on Google and a Google product. And then came like all the perks, like there's like the gym memberships, the free food, like all these things, the paid time off, and, and it didn't have like the spark it used to have. And that's what Eric Schmidt is talking about here of like when you're competing like something as revolutionary as ChatGPT and OpenAI, and you're not competing at their scale and urgency, you're not gonna be able to catch up and you're gonna be stuck behind. So let's take a look at this. I'm going home early. I'm no longer a Google employee. Yes. Um, in the spirit of full disclosure, um, Google decided that work-life balance and going home early and working from home was more important than winning. <laughs> and the startups, the reason startups work is because the people work like hell. And I'm sorry to be so blunt, but the fact of the matter is if you all leave the university and go found a company, you're not gonna let people work from home and only come in one day a week if you wanna compete against the other startups. Okay, so that's a really interesting point here. And the more that a tech company becomes corporate, it's harder to innovate. You kinda of have to move a different way, especially if you're a publicly traded company. And so he makes a good point here. He was there during the startup phase. He's the former founder, co-founder and CEO. And he's seeing what's happening. They're not moving as quickly. They don't have the urgency. And that's going to be a big problem. 